Good day, everybody. Thank you for clicking in. So, the other day, uh, Children's Choir came in to the Capitol and were singing the National Anthem. and Doing a great job. There was people watching everywhere. The whole place was captivated. And nobody was one bit upset or triggered. Everybody had their hand on their hearts. And after the first song, the Capitol Police came in and said that they could not do that anymore. They said that what you will be doing in that, what you're currently doing is called a protest and you don't have a permit for that. And that's really sad to be able to say that the national anthem is a protest song. That's terrible. Well, Donald Trump thinks otherwise and to shine light on the situation and what everybody should be doing right now is to, because obviously if you don't know by now, we're captured. <laughs> the United States government has been captured for, the, for them to send in the Capitol Police to tell them that, that you, you cannot sing the National Anthem, that is an act of, of, of uh, protest. If you don't know by now, guys, you got to wake up. Of course, none of these people that are watching this video right now, they know this. But please share this because it's a very uh, terrible time to see that. Now, I'm going to show you a video. Here's Donald Trump. He's going to lay it all out right quick. Here you go. Well, I just want to say hello and pay my respects to a very talented group of people the Rushing Brook Children's Choir. I heard about what happened at the Capitol, and that's a shame. It's a, uh, really, it's a serious thing to have an event like that, such a beautiful uh, time in your lives, and such an important time in your lives to be interrupted in such a way. But we are going to have you in South Carolina, and you're gonna sing at a rally for us in front of tens of thousands of people. And we're all going to have a great time together. We love our country. We're going to take care of our country. And we're going to pay respect to those people that love it. And nobody loves it more than you. So, Rushing Brook, remember, South Carolina at our first rally. It'll be announced soon. And you're going to be there. And thank you for everything. And thank you for loving America. You don't hear any other candidate talking like that. I like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Um, but uh, I, th I really don't think that you don't, you know, nobody's talking in that tone of love America, please. You know, let's go back. You know, that is actually a really powerful statement. So, you know, I kind of pulled for this dude because of that. And I seen what he went through and I think he deserves a chance to clean everything up because if he can't fix what's happening to him, it's, it's going to come to us. We're going to get every bit of what happened to him. We as in everybody, not just Trump supporters, even the people who are against us, because it will come for you. The system does not stop. It does not have any boundaries. The bar just keeps getting raised higher and higher, and eventually your limit will be reached as well. So please understand this message. So thank you for clicking in. Have a wonderful rest of the day. It's Wednesday. No, it's Thursday. It's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. It doesn't matter. We're just here, and we're on God's earth, and he's got a plan. Thank you, guys. Peace out.